In this video, we're gonna continue setting up this render so that it can be viewed in the Gear VR headset. So the next thing we wanna do is go to the camera tag. Let's select the tag. And I'm gonna set the camera mode from spherical to cube map. So you can see now it's being rendered as each plane of a cube. So we have six different images here. But of course, it's also being rendered as a 2D uh, render. So in other words, if we're looking at this through Gear VR, it's not a 3D image because there's only one render for one eye. And you can tell that because we only have six planes here. So now we need to set this up for stereo rendering. So in the Octane camera tag, we'll click on the stereo button and we want to set the stereo output to side by side. So now we literally get 12 different images here all combined into one render. We have six renders for one cube map and six renders for the other cube map, one cube map for each eye. So let's pause this render for a second here. And now we need to set up the resolution so that it's the correct resolution for the Gear VR. So to do that, we'll go into render, edit render settings, and here under output, we want to set the width to 18432, so 18,432, so it is a very wide render. And then we want to set the height to 1536. And we can even lock the ratio now if we want to render a smaller version just for testing. So now let's do another render. I'm going to click on the lock button here and adjust the render size so that we actually get it to render the right resolution. But of course, it's a little bit too big to fit into the live viewer. So in this case, what we'll want to do is a batch render. Make sure the resolution is correct and let's add it to the render queue. So I'll go render, add to render queue, save any changes, get rid of anything in here we don't need. So here we go. So make sure everything is set correctly. We have the right camera, output setting is chosen, and we're rendering with Octane. So let's start the render. So as you can imagine, this is gonna take a long time to render because I've got some 7,000 samples and it's an extremely large image. So uh, this is a case where you might want to uh, export the scene you might want to export the scene to Octane Standalone and take advantage of the uh, AI denoiser so that you can render with fewer samples and have it render much quicker. So uh, I'm gonna stop this render. And let's take a look at setting this up really quickly in Octane Standalone. So here's what the render looks like in Photoshop. So you can see it's a very long, but sort of short render. So again, it's 12 images all combined into one render. And this is kind of blotchy because I rendered it with the AID noiser in Octane Standalone with only about 200 samples. So it's a fairly low sample render. But the advantage of doing it this way in Standalone is that whenever you're creating something for VR, you're gonna wanna do a lot of testing using the VR headset just to make sure that everything's right. And you can't really wait around forever for each render to complete. So you wanna have a way to get renders out very, very quickly. And the AI denoiser in Octane Standalone is great for that because it only takes a few minutes to render something and then you can preview it very quickly. So that's what I've done. This is Octane Standalone. There's more information or videos within this series on how to export the scene to Octane Standalone. But if I select the render target, you can see here are my resolution settings right here. My camera is set to panoramic. Down here in the imager, I have my denoiser turned on. I have the denoise D main button selected. And within the camera, you can see I have it set to cube map. And my stereo settings are set to side by side. So finally, if you want to follow the steps for uploading images to the Samsung Gear VR headset, you can go into the Octane standalone uh, documentation that's found on otoy.com. So you go to otoy.com, go under support, 
documentation and click on the standalone edition and you'll find in the appendix uploading images to the Samsung Gear VR so you have step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to properly uh, upload this to the Gear VR headset.